Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Maureen. Welcome back to my planet. This is actually like my third time making this vlog, but the streets out here, I was making a car vlog where I'm like driving and talking, but the streets are out here are so bad that this camera just kept going like all the turbulence made the camera like just go down so i was like uh no but i got here and instead of going home i came straight to trader joe's because i need to be here to get groceries and there, we still have like five minutes until it actually opens so i'm like no i'll just i'll just read i'll just redo it and it'll be good so without the turbulence so anyways hi guys welcome back so yes i have the name tag on which means that I just got out of my Weight Watchers meeting. It was a good meeting. And it was also it's also a weigh-in day update. Also, we are in it. We are in the Lean for Halloween challenge. What's Lean for Halloween? Every year, Connect during Halloween time has this challenge going on. It's a numbers challenge, how much weight you'd like to lose by Halloween. I committed to five pounds. I saw a lot of you committed to five pounds. That's awesome. That's totally doable. And we're not going to get the five pounds down by doing anything extreme. Okay. I just want to say that nothing extreme. We're not going to suddenly start doing an intense diet in which we can easily get the five pounds off. We're going to do what we've been doing. And hey, if we only get off two pounds, at least we're in it, at least we're committed, at least we're setting the tone for the rest of the year. And at least we'll do better, at least I know I'll do better than if I didn't have this challenge. So if we don't hit the five pounds, I don't want any of us, or however much you're committing to, but also make it realistic. Don't be like 20 pounds already, no, no. I don't, I don't think that's possible. So, um, yeah that's just what we're doing and it's just a fun little challenge it's to get our butts into gear and it's to prepare us for the rest of the year because guess what guys yeah it's it's officially starting we have the co-workers got their little, their little candy bowls on their desks now and i've made a trip or two yeah i'm gonna be honest i've made a trip or two to the candy bowls and I'm not sad about it because you know what? That's what we have weeklies for. That's what we have dailies for. Weight Watchers does not say you cannot have mini size candies during Halloween time. Are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. So yes, you can. Just make sure it fits within your day. Make sure it fits within your plan. You can have those little candies. It's totally fine if it fits within your day and you make room for it. Which I did. So this so that's all I'm saying so how's it going how's the lean for Halloween challenge going for you guys for me um I had the munchies this week Wednesday like I was just a bottomless pit I was just eating everything and er er anything and everything well not really I also tracked but I went deep into my weeklies and then yesterday I didn't track at all and I was eating I know you guys are like girl the day before weigh-in yes the day before weigh-in sue me so how did that reflect on the skill? Keep in mind too that last week I lost an absurd amount of weight. It was like 2.2 .2 or whatever. And while yes, I was writing that high, I also knew that it's not a real loss. It was that time of month. So it was probably TMI time, like a whole bunch of blood that left me, that left me like two pounds down or whatever. So, and hey, you know what? I'm fine with this because I consider this a loss, really. It balances out. It evens out. Technically, last week, maybe I would have had a loss, but it wouldn't have been 2.2. And then this week as well. So anyways, that one pound or two pounds as much as I gained, that's off now. I'm 0.6 over my goal weight. And yeah, I'd like to lose five pounds, but you know what? I can still, I'm still on lean for Halloween. I can still get to five pounds down. My challenge is tracking, which is what he talked about this week, my leader. And he really showed us how to use the app. That app, you guys, the Weight Watchers app, if you're on Weight Watchers, it's a phenomenal app. They've really made tracking so much easier. So on the bottom right hand corner, I don't know if you guys know this, but they'll have a little plus sign now, at least on the iPhone. I don't know how it is on Android. If you have Android, please confirm or deny, but they'll have a little plus sign on the bottom right hand corner you just click it and they'll show you four options to track your sleep activity food and something else i forgot what it was your weight 
So whatever you want to track, you can go there. Also, if you're not using that, up on the original search bar, they'll have, what will they have? Oh yeah, the, where you put in the foods that you want to look for, you click that and it'll have all the foods that you regularly track and you can just click those and put quick, quick add, quick track, and you can just do that. So that's so easy. But that's my challenge. And I like using quick ad. Quick ad, I'm a creature of habit. Sometimes for breakfast, I'll have, or a lot of times, like it'll be the same points. It won't be the same stuff, but it will be the same points. And I'll just put like um, breakfast, five points, bang, quick ad, done. You can even use good old paper and pen. I love, my, I used to love writing down what I'm tracking. And if, tra and if you don't like, the points that are given you can just write down what you're eating that helps too because my leader he said something really important today he said tracking it's information not judgment and your tracker's not judging you it's not saying hey fatty you sure you want to put that in hey fatty look you're one you're minus 147 this week you want to keep going yeah it's not gonna say that it's just presenting you information so if you're up a couple pounds you know why if you're down you and you want to recreate that week you can go back and see what you're doing it tracking is so important at least for me so that's my challenge this week and I, this is my this is my challenge for you guys this week let's track let's accurately track and put what we're eating what we're eating into our tracker yes you don't have to commit for all seven days let's just commit for today for one meal let's start tracking accurately i know it's easy to be like oh that must have been a quarter cup of cu of nuts but if you actually tracked it and actually used your measuring you'd see that it's actually one cup of nuts guilty so let's accurately track this week yes yes so that's what we're doing and tracking i know it's hard i know we don't like doing it but Let's start, let's start small. Whatever you're doing, and it doesn't have to be Weight Watchers. Maybe you're doing Eye Track Bites. Maybe you're doing Noom. Maybe you're doing My Fitness Pal. Whatever app you're using to track, even if it's good old pen and paper, let's start one meal. Yes, it's easy to track the good. It's easy to track when we're being rock stars and killing it. It's not so easy to track when we're not killing it and when we are minus one point, minus 157. You know that's not easy but let's make it easier remember it's not judgment so yeah anyway anyways you guys want to see what they got at trader joe's now let's get into this little vloggy part so oh let me know what you guys how you guys did how's lean for halloween challenge going for you let me know in the comments below how did you do this week was it a loss was it a gain if it's a gain it's okay you're not quitting you're not quitting if it was a gain okay we are just going to go back and I had a gain. I had a gain. I'm not quitting. Are you kidding me? I'm not quitting right now. So let me take this off. I don't want anyone to know my name. You guys can know my name. There might be weirdos in there. I don't want them to know. So I am the weirdo. I'm the one talking to my phone right now. I'm the weirdo. Okay. I'm the weirdo. But yeah, you're not quitting if you had a gain. So let's make a game plan. My game plan is tracking. What's yours? And then tomorrow, let's talk about tomorrow later. But um, yeah, so you guys want to go see what's in Trader Joe's? Let's get a vlog. Okay, I just walked in. How cute are these? They have the little Dia de los Muertos. And then they have, this is like supposed to be Jeff Skellington. These are so cute. Oh. Oh. Do I have to get one? I might. But they have these. These are so cute. I don't know. Should I? I don't know if I should pick one up. Oh, why this is so cute. I'm gonna walk away from this. What? Okay, no. Let's get actual apples. Let's get some salad. Let's see what fruits they have. Ooh, they still have Saturn peaches. That's a bit much. Their soups and their pastas, but I don't really see many vegetarian ones. This is seven points per serving, 
but I don't know if this little brown stuff is like meat or what. So I don't know if I can have that. So I might just make my own salad. So, um, yeah, they have these. Fun of pumpkin, which I am not. They have these pumpkin biscotties. Ooh, also, oh my gosh. I don't even want to know how many points that is, but they have that. And pumpkin and peppers. these cookies which I might get but look at this fall leaf corn tortilla chips these look so cute I might just buy it just because it looks so cute but then they also have this I don't know how many points it is but um they got that if you're a pumpkin lover which again I am not but this I don't know am I really gonna eat it uh, mm, I don't know this is a gamble uh, why not mac and cheese these are no longer eight points these are ten points now they used to be eight now they're ten womp womp um these are they have this it actually looks really good and then ooh, look at all these good things yeah oh my gosh and then look Pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzel. Lots of really cute things here. Um, veggie spring rolls. I have a ton of spring rolls at home, so won't be getting that. Okay, I'm gonna get this for my mom. She loves samosas. I think she'll love this. Where else to get those partake cookies that are so popular in the WW world? Well, I don't know if they're popular or not, but you see them around enough. Right here at Trader Joe's. Right here above the fish. Okay, so a girl I work with was having this for lunch one day. It looks so good, and half of it is 12 points. I'm gonna take off the little eggplant though, because no, that, that didn't do it for me. But half of it is 12, and to me, it's worth it. It's really good. I think I'm gonna get like two, maybe three, go wild. But I really like these, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna pair it with like a nice little salad that I'll make. So this one's a lot of points. Which is, I think it was this one. It was like 14 or something for a slice. I don't know if they mean the whole thing is a slice or like a slice, but I really like this. 12 points for half, I'll take it. have this tea these donuts because we want to look at the good stuff too we have organic vegetarian chili but it's not cold enough for chili yet so and it's going to be 90 next week so i'm going to pass on this for now favorite section the cheese section oh my gosh this is actually so good i love putting it with like avocado on some whatever get one it's really good and then I'm just getting anything and everything I need to calm down but for my salad I'm also getting this fat free but uh, one ounce of this is zero points so that hasn't changed thank god I don't really need any cheese from here though I'm good because I still have two bags of this and I have this so I don't really need any of this but that was the cheese I did need my other favorite section, the protein bars. I got these RX bars and Bear Bells. I love Bear Bells. They're my favorite. I do not like the vegan ones though. I will not get the plant-based vegan ones. But if you're a vegan, then you know they have that option. I just don't like it. It leaves a really weird aftertaste. My favorite though are the salty peanuts or the caramel cashew. I think it's one of those. These ones are four points, so I do stock up on these. Um, just because they're pretty good with the points. And then I'm gonna get one of these. I have so many protein bars at home. Chocolate dough. They, had, they used to have crisp. Remember crisp? It was a holiday crisp, but then they just made a regular crisp and they don't got it anymore. I don't know, I think that's enough bear bells, girl. That's enough bear bells. That'll do. That'll do, Peg. That'll do. But, um, yeah, that's what we have. 
have, that's what we have friends. Just showing you guys this whole row. Just showing you guys what they have in case you see some stuff that I'm not pointing out, but you might be like, oh wait, what's that? Yeah, the granola. I can't have it because it has vanilla extract in it. Um, alcohol. But if you can, they have granola. I like the Joe's O's. I do like them. Should I get a box? It's only $1.99. No, I have enough cereal at home. That's what they got. Let's check out Lastly, now. I'd like to show you these pumpkins. They're so cute. Until I carve them into the scary little jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and watching be sure to subscribe and like this video and i will see you next time and leave all your comments down below bye